and I told you guys on the last vlog that I wasn't ever gonna drive the Tahoe again. However, I have to drive the Tahoe today to drop it off to its new owners. Hi guys, my name is Deanna and we are the Crystals, a family of five, letting go of 90% of our stuff in pursuit of experiencing big life with less. If you are new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on to keep up with our journey to full-time RV living. Crazy, crazy turn of events. I'll be completely honest with you. When we left the dealership on Saturday for when we purchased the truck, I was leaving pretty hopeless. On the way home, I was just like trying to work through the disappointment and really just trusting God and know that this is his dream for us and he's gonna make everything work out perfectly. And it was it was like a real battle to like not worry about everything and at the same time trust in God. And so it's been a battle. But I told God, if you sell the Tahoe this week, if you sell the Tahoe this week, I'll give you all the glory and I'll say Jesus sold the Tahoe. So I'll tell you this, Jesus sold the Tahoe because he sold it not only this week, but within three days of me saying that. So God is good, trust in him, no matter what you think is, if it's meant to be, it'll happen when God wants it to happen in his time and it'll be the best for the best. And these people just found us on Facebook. They were just looking at a different Tahoe in a different town and our Tahoe has been posted for almost 30 days and they just so happened to find our Tahoe and they're like oh we're looking for one like this they came over last night like right around sunset like it was so just like a turn of events and it's like it's just wild to me God is so good and it's just wild how everything ends up working out just even better than you expected so here we are we're on our way to the bank we're gonna drop it off I told you guys I was telling you guys this is no longer a Tahoe the family's looking for all of those affirmations came into existence being positive on the situation and not letting negativity str strangle us um, and hopelessness and having faith that it was going to get taken care of worked out for us so putting our trust in God is working out for us through every step of this journey and I'm just so excited because every day we are one step closer to full-time RV living and Happy Friday. This week is the first week that we're coming out with two vlogs. So today is all gonna be dedicated to God because this is why, all right? When we, we have tried to trade our Tahoe in two times. And during those two times, we were told our Tahoe was worth way less, especially with trade-in value, okay? And I've listened to some Dave Ramsey and he always says, yeah, trade in value is always way less than selling a vehicle yourself. Well, we personally have never sold vehicles ourselves. So we really didn't know how to do that. It was a little intimidating, but after two times, we pretty much knew it was the only choice we had. Last weekend when we went to the truck, they were telling us you should just take the Tahoe back to the bank because you're so upside down on it. And I left that feeling very hopeless. And we had a four hour drive home. So we really got time uh, to really think about our actions that led us to the point with this Tahoe. And I was going up and down with my emotions. Like I was so excited, but at the same time, I was so just hopeless about the Tahoe. Like, how are we gonna get rid of it? We really hadn't had much action on it um, on Facebook. I really hadn't gotten many messages, not near as many as we did for the truck. But I told God on the way home, I said, God, if you sell this Tahoe this week, if you sell the Tahoe this week, God, 
I'll dedicate an entire vlog to you, okay? So this is God's vlog because he sold the Tahoe, okay? He sold the Tahoe. And so on the way home, I really got a, I really got an idea that I needed to separate from the Tahoe. If I was gonna sell the Tahoe, I needed to completely separate my physically, mentally, emotionally, I needed to separate. And I kind of shared that a little bit on the last vlog, you saw us. There was actually a clip where we were moving stuff from the Tahoe to the truck. It somehow didn't get recorded, I don't know how. but. You saw me go take it to get washed, vacuum it out. We put it on the highway. And then uh, on Monday night at 8.30 p.m., after I finished that vlog, at 8.30 p.m. on Monday night, I get a message on Facebook. And someone says, do you still have this? Can I come see it right now? And I was like... Okay, well, I was about to have a training at nine. Chubbs was just coming in from mowing, and I said, Chubbs, someone wants to come look at the Tahoe right now. They said they'll be here in 30 minutes. And he was like, okay. And so these people came, they looked at the Tahoe, and they wanted to buy it. <laughs> and then on, and I was just like, is this too good to be true? This is only Monday. I said, God, this week, not, I mean, I didn't mean now, but God works how he wants to work, not how we want to work, how he wants to work. And so I literally was fighting the battle of getting so depressed about the Tahoe. And every time these anxious feelings came up, I just kept saying, God, I give it to you. I give it to you. You're going to sell the Tahoe. You're going to sell the Tahoe. I can do nothing. I can, I just kept saying that, repeating that over and over because those thoughts and feelings of anxiety that, oh my gosh, hopeless. We can't sell this Tahoe. It's never going to get gone. Oh my gosh, we're going to be stuck with it. Those feelings kept rising up in me. And so I had to keep squelching them down by giving it to God. So less than 48 hours after I gave all of this, gave the Tahoe to God, it was gone into a new family's hands. By Tuesday, we were closed on the deal and it was over. That's a wrap on the Tahoe. So all our vehicles are gone and we only have our truck and we're going to just drive this for a while. It's really not that bad. It is a little large, but we can do it. I know that God gave me the dream to RV and as we've been walking this out, every single thing has happened in perfect timing, okay? The truck sold at a perfect time. The Tahoe sold at a perfect time. And now we have our house and we thought we were getting an offer. That doesn't seem to be happening and that's okay because we have put all of our trust in God through this entire process and he has worked out things way better than we could ever dream each and every situation, every situation that we thought could happen this way, it's happened better than what we thought. And so we're putting all of our trust in God. Big three starting out, the truck, the Tahoe, and the house. And the truck and the Tahoe are gone, and now all we have is our beautiful home. And I have no doubt that the person who wants this house is out there looking for it right now. They haven't come across it, or they haven't thought it's possible for them, but it is. Because you know what? They're out there looking for it. I don't know where they are, just like the Tahoe. I do not know where these people are. I do not know where they've been, but they're looking for this house and they're coming to find it because you know what? Every single thing has worked out and it's because we've put all of our trust in God. God gave us this dream and we sat on it for a little bit and we finally were like, okay, God, we'll do this, but you have to help us. And he has been with us every step of the way through this journey. And so I just really wanna give God all the glory for this because seriously, I'm telling you, he is so good. He is so, 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 so good. It goes beyond our wildest dreams, it goes beyond what we can ever hope and imagine, it goes beyond what we can ever like dream possible. That's what he does. And he did it in this situation, he did it. And it's so freaking awesome. I can't get on, get over this. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I am so blessed and thankful that you guys took the time out of your day to watch this vlog. And you know, if you're going through a hard time and you're worrying if things are gonna work out for you, know this, if you lean on God, all things are possible and all things will work out in due time. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing evening. Bye.